Yeah, I kind of had a, a slow start to the season. I had some second place finishes in Costa Rica, um, Las Vegas, Alabama. But then since then, it's, uh, it's been great. I've learned a lot from those first few races, and I've, I've won every race since in Richmond, uh, Mountain Champs, um, Mexico, and USA Champs. Yeah, I've got four wins in a row coming into this race. Uh, won East Champs, the Mountain Champs, Mexico, and the USA Champs. So I'm feeling good. Uh, you, you never know what it's going to take to win this race. Uh, it, you know, it's, it's going to be a tremendous effort no matter what. Um, but I, I thought I had it dialed in last year, and I thought I did everything that I needed to do to win. Um, and then Ruben had a better race. So you can only control yourself. Um, but I feel like I've got all the ingredients, and I feel stronger than last year. So I, I think I can do it. It really takes a very clean race and amazing performances in all three disciplines. And for me personally, I have to have an outstanding bike and I have to have the best run to just to get in the race and give myself a chance. Yeah, I mean, this is the world championships. To win here, you've got to be on in all three disciplines. I mean, the depth of the field is so strong that you have to have a great swim, an amazing bike, and then one of the top runs. And for me, I have to have one of the fastest bikes and fastest runs to be in the race, and I cannot lose too much time on the swim. Yeah, I mean, Ruben has definitely proven himself the last two years. He's, he's got an amazing string of races, but it's also hard to be on top, I think. And, you know, definitely uh, this, this could be it. Uh, you know, you don't, you don't want to get complacent at the top, and that can happen for sure. To be on the podium in this race, you have to be satisfied with that. But there's a couple positions that are harder than others. Second place is a hard one. It's hard to be the last guy off the podium, so sixth place is tough. Um, but, you know, that being said, it's, uh, you know, it's definitely a bad taste in my mouth, and I want to, you know, I want to come through, and I want to win this race. It's definitely been a, a big driving force in my life for a long time now. Yeah, finishing second place, it's definitely respectable. Uh, you know, it's a good race, but it's definitely a little frustrating at the same time, and I'm, I'm definitely here to win. It's been a big driving force in my life for several years to come out on top in this race, and I feel like this is the year. It depends on what, it, it all is about expectations. And if you come this, to this race expecting, expecting to win, there's gonna be a whole lot of disappointed people, and there's gonna be one person that's satisfied. And I feel like I've been in that boat several times, and this is one of those years that I won't be satisfied with anything but a win. The men's field is very deep this year. A lot of people coming over from other racing styles and formats. That said, there's a, there's a few guys that I would definitely um, say are, are big contenders. Ruben Ruzafa, obviously one of them. Braden Curry is going to be right up there. Ben Allen is going to be in the mix for a while. Francisco Serrano gave Ruben a run about a month ago, so he might be in there too. Courtney Atkinson, um, I know, is racing well in ITU. And there's always going to be that dark horse that uh, you know kind of just gears up for this race and kind of comes out of nowhere. Perfect. Um, that was it. Okay. General. I'm sure I'm forgetting some.